Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alon Paul. Welcome, friends and travelers. We are going to be doing the Anomaly wish mission for the weekend. And let's see what we have in store. Looking forward to seeing what's coming up. Uh, maybe tomorrow night. Possibility. Tomorrow night. Small possibility of streaming live. But I don't know if I'll be able to get that done. Uh, we'll see what happens on Saturday night. But just keep your eyes open. Looking forward to possibly doing a... We'll call it a speed run test of the Voyager's Expedition. We'll see how that goes. But uh, not sure if we're going to be doing it tomorrow. We may have to put it off a week. A lot going on tomorrow. We'll see what happens. All right. So here we are back in the saddle. Let's jump in the ship and off to the anomaly. Pull that in, and away we go. Hope everybody's doing well this past week, and I hope you've had a wonderful week. And if you haven't, well, the weekend's here, so hopefully you'll have a better weekend. I wish you all one. Can't demand it of you. That wouldn't be wrong. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. All right. Hey, we're in the wonderful parking space. And off to the Nexus to see what our mission's all about. So we got the blue icon up top indicating the mission is ready. Let's go ahead and grab it. Terrestrial homes. We have to construct an underwater outpost. Well, this may take an extra couple minutes to get done. We get 1,800 Quicksilver. And we get a salvage frigate module. So this is going to require that we have a lot of um, things in our inventory. A lot of uh, stuff in order to build with. So keep that in mind. If you haven't got a really good save going on where you have a lot of hours in it, well, then you might have a little bit of a trouble with it. We'll see. All right. Here we go. Almost got in there. Here we go. Mission started terrestrial homes. Excellent. Reached the target planet, so it's going to throw us into hyperspace here. Every time I see this green, I always think to myself of ludicrous speed. If any of you know what I'm talking about, go ahead and throw it in the comments section. All right, here we go. I like how the jets phased out there for just a half a second. That was pretty good. All right, so we've got this crazy looking planet below us. That is going to be a scaly planet. There you go, aggressive sentinels. Please tell me it's a different planet than that because obviously we need water. Uh, let's see. Looks like we're going to be going over here, just past the space station. All right, let's check it out. Hyperborean planet and a planet a potential construction site, it says. That's interesting. It's added that to description because that's where we're headed. Uh, frost crystal. Anytime you see hyperborean and frost, you know it's going to be a cold world. We've got copper, dioxide, and silver as well as high sentinel activity, so be careful what you kill. But the... Dioxide, if you don't have a lot on you, well, that's a good place to get some, so keep that in mind. All right, so hopefully we're locked in on the site and not on a save beacon. We'll see what happens here. It doesn't really make a difference as long as we get to water. Uh, looks like we got a little bit of water to deal with, right? Whoa, it's taking me all the way to the other side, yeah? All right, let's see what we got. We're getting a reflection, so we definitely have water below us. So all we need to do now is find ourselves a little island to land ourselves on. Whoa, dipped into the water a little bit there. So there was a couple little islands there. Let's go ho go over here a little bit and just check things out. And you know what we can do? Something you may have learned. Here we are, we're in here, right? You see our speed is about 157. With the jets we're at 441. Now we can also do this. Divert power to engines. Let's see how fast we can go. Nice. 506. We're really hauling butt now, right? That's pretty cool. All right. Let's slow it down. It looks like we just placed a freighter under the water. Let's grab this little island right over here. A little round one. That'll be nice. Right here. Oh, almost a donut shape. That's nice. 
Good deal. So that thing sticking out of the water is likely going to be a crashed freighter. Well, that's interesting, but we're not going to be checking that out. So we got to establish a construction site underwater. We got to deploy a base computer underwater. Okay, very good. So we should have all the elements we need, and in case we don't, I'm going to summon my freighter. There we go. And of course, the little guys are going to start popping up. Yeah, sound effects are provided by me. Sorry. Let's move on. A little bit deep down here, huh? All right, let's head down. Now, we're also cold, so this is a cold climate. Pretty crazy looking down here. I'm going to go all the way down here. Right? That's a good thing, going all the way down. Wow, this is crazy. Uh, let's see. I don't know about all the way down. We may have to find a better surface to build upon. All right, let's check it out. Boy, these things are just like crazy. What about over here? Let's get closer to the freighter. Maybe see over here a little bit. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is crazy. Hey, there's a cave right there. Let's go into there. That looks like a, more, a better, better spot to build that. We're pretty far away from our ship, but no big deal. All right. This looks good. Okay. Base computer will go ahead and pop pop down here. Wow. No claims to this site, huh? How weird. Millions of players playing. No claims to that site. You know, we could have built it in the freighter. That would have been funny. All right. Here we go. So we've got ourselves a thing. We've got to build infrastructure, a square deep water chamber. Now, let's check it out. The square deep water chamber requires pure ferrite, so make sure you got plenty of, of that on you. A lot of pure ferrite is going to be used in building this. Uh, let's see. I want to do something a little different. I'm going to build up just a little bit. Uh, there we go. I want to put a frame down right about here, and then we're going to go build that cuboid deep water chamber right on top of it. See how it does that? That's pretty nice. It kind of boosts it up in the air just a little bit. Okay, what's next? Watertight door. Okay, let's get a watertight door going. Should be highlighted someplace. There we go. What do you think? That side? I want to put it on the other side where we are going to be exiting. Actually, let's get two. I want one on this side too. So I'm going to build the second one. Okay, and you need crystal sulfides for those, okay? Keep that in mind. You can get crystal sulfides from your... Let me see if you can even see any here. Wow, look at all the creatures here. Uh, you got the clams, armor clams, and then you should be able to find... Hopefully, there we go. Cargo pods, exactly. That's what we're looking for, right? No, it's not. We don't see any here. Unbelievable. Oh, those are some nasty guys. They can attack sometimes. you got to be careful of them. I'll just check out these animals while we're here. Okay, and since our oxygen levels are dropping, I'll use one of my support shells to do that, and we'll take care of the cold while we're at it as well. So you know where you can get the crystal sulfides, and if you don't know, let's see what we can find real fast. We have to get pretty close to them to see them for some reason, but you got to look for the vents. There it is. Crystal sulfide right there. I'll, I'll show you that real quick. So, Because some of you might be newer to the game and may not know how to find these things. Uh, looks like it's underneath all this baloney. So let's go ahead and carve our way down, shall we? You kind of want to go to one side a little bit because you'll destroy what you're getting like that. So that's your vent. You see it has exploded. And what you can do is you can gather the crystal sulfides from the outside. There's always three of them to each one of these pots. Unbelievable. Okay, but they will explode in these weird um, timings, usually about every 30 seconds to a minute or so, depending upon, you know, well, depending upon things. Let's just put it that way. So back to the base. So now you know how you can build your doors. Okay, so what's next? 
So now we build a vertical glass tunnel, it says. We've got to build two of those. I think we can go up with them, right? Hmm, let me see. We may have not picked a very good spot for this. Eh, we're okay. I'll just make a little room, shall we? Okay. Let's build it, the glass tunnels. Now you need, as you can see, glass, two more crystal sulfides, and ferrite dust. So we'll make one and two. Looks like we had just enough room. What's next? Uh, viewing sphere is next. Looks like we're out of air again. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, let's see. Viewing sphere, viewing sphere. Okay, so we can put the viewing sphere either up there if we want, which it really doesn't attach. As you can see, you can't really get it up there, so you have to put it on the outside of your habitat here. I'm going to put mine right there. Again, that requires magnetized ferrite and three glass. We just happen to have a bunch of glass in our inventory. Next, it wants us to build some stuff inside, so let's head in. You'll notice we don't have any power, though, so it ought to be interesting. And there we go. Good deal. So let's go ahead and build this stuff. Uh, we need a robotic arm, so that's interesting. Where would we put this? What do you think? I don't want to put it up there. Let's put it over here. Okay, so we got one robotic arm. We need a green light. We need four of those. Let me see where are those at. Green light, green light, green light, green light. I think that's over here. Oh, there it is. So we need four of those. So we're going to put four of them. I will put them at the entrances right here. Okay. Whoops. Then we need what? A lamp. Pardon me. A lab lamp and an industrial pump. Okay. Now you notice that these, they don't cost much. There's sodium to build these. So that's not a problem. And you notice that the robotic arm earlier, where did it go? I meant to cover that real fast. There it is. Only required some pure ferrite. So now we need to do our lab lamp. That's going to require more sodium, just 10. You can put it anywhere. So we have that doorway, those two doorways. Okay. So that's our viewing sphere. Uh, I'm not going to put it in there. We've got a robotic arm over that way. So let's put it over on this side. Um, and we can put it facing down as well. So I'm going to have it facing down. There we go. And finally, we need an industrial pump. Industrial pump. Industrial pump. I'm sure I'm looking right at it, and I still don't see it. Got lots of stuff in here, as you can see. Lots and lots of things. Oh, there it is. Which is going to require carbon. So that really doesn't require a whole lot, and it doesn't do much. It's just basically... It is there for show, is all it is. It's just an accoutrement... Uh, a facade, if you will, to your place. See? It doesn't do anything. It makes believe it's running and it's really not actually doing anything. All right, so we just upload our base and that should take care of it. Now, you know, between you and me, I'm not really particularly caring for the fact that it doesn't have any power. So let's go up top real quick and let's actually create a power source. Let's just give it a couple solar panels. I don't even know if it's daylight or nighttime right now. And I'm going to guess it's nighttime. Okay, and we'll put a battery on it. You don't have to do this. This is just me. And because it's part of the actual item itself, because on, on this particular type of uh, device, this particular uh, home, if you will, that you've built, it automatically connects to everything. We'll go in here. Let's paste some fuel in it. And we should have power. You notice the power is slowly storing up in the battery. We don't have to put any wires on it. And later on, when the sun comes out, it'll power this thing up. So now we should have lights, as you can see. So very nice. Very nice little home. Let's go out the other door, go to our base, and we're going to upload it like it asked us to. Logged in as guest. Base operational. Upload performed. I'm going to upload the base. Base uploading to service. We are now done with our mission, as you can see. And we can leave it here. We'll leave it here for anybody else who wants to take a look at it. I doubt that'll happen anytime soon because there are so many bases here that are probably all built. But it is what it is. Okay. So, you know, we're having fun here. 
All right, heading back to our ship. There it is, up there. Okay. Love the jets. There's just something about that I like. And when you're underwater with some of the upgrades you can get, it lasts, your jets last a lot longer. And here we are. We're back out. And why don't we recharge that while we're at it? Okay, so that's what it's going to require to build one of those bases under there. Plenty of pure ferrite, plenty of glass, don't forget that. And while you're at it, um, make sure you have enough sodium and carbon and regular ferrite as well. Okay. Oh, we got to pull in our anomaly. That's what I'm forgetting. There we go. So we head back to the anomaly. Try not to miss it like I just did. There we go. And into the Nexus. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So that's how you create your underwater base. Now it should give you the parts. If you don't have the parts, you'll have to get them from the anomaly over in the build section behind Polo and Nada. I'm assuming that since you're watching this, you already know how to do that. And here we go. Complete the mission. And we get our 1800 Quicksilver and our Salvage Frigate Module. So, yeah, thank heavens we were running low on Quicksilver. I know I say that every time. It gets old. Let's see what we got over here in our Quicksilver vendor. Create exotic items. So we'll notice that we're still waiting on t Tier 3 to complete out, which is which is interesting. Uh, I'm kind of surprised it hasn't actually completed, because these two didn't take long at all to get. But tier 3 is at 78%, so hopefully it'll be completed by Tier 4. I have my suspicions as to why it hasn't been completed yet. Perhaps it might be because of another game that's out right now, but we'll see what happens. So that's it. That's it for us for today. So I want to thank you all for watching. I'm going to go ahead and head back to my ship, if I can find it, of course. Ha ha ha. There we go. And if you're looking to get back to your own system, all you have to do is exit the anomaly, and it will automatically spit you back out into hyperspace and back to your original system. No hyperfuel required. And there we go. So again, thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. Please, and thank you. And we will be doing some more stuff in upcoming weeks. I've actually taken a break, for the most part, from No Man's Sky. Um, just to chill out for a little while. Enjoy time with family and go visit some friends and get a little bit of vacation again. Um, but those things are coming to an end very soon. And uh, hopefully next weekend we'll have something going on. So, like I said, if you don't see me uh, advertising for a live stream tomorrow on Saturday, which would be the 23rd, um, it'll probably be the weekend after that. So, probably on the 30th. All right, and here we go. Again, I want to thank you all for watching. Again, hit that like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.